time, smokes, typical time. <laughs> Came here in a big car. <laughs> big, huge car. Uh, big, huge car. Big car that doesn't suit me. Bought a big, fancy car when times were good, you know, and it doesn't suit me. I know it doesn't suit me because I drove past my reflection in a shop window, and before I knew who it was, I called him an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me the fingers, I'll stab the head in you. <laughs> and that's a little bit of Tommy Chernin, oh, who is in so town. Funny. How are you, Tommy? I'm fantastic to now. I'm uh, looking forward to getting home. You were talking about uh, the superhero. Uh, Thor. Yeah, yeah. And I, it reminded me of an old joke. I don't. Know if, it's a very old joke. I don't know if it's made it to Canada yet. <laughs> but I started laughing when I was thinking about it. Uh, uh, Thor comes down to Earth. And uh, he makes love to uh, an, uh, an earth woman, you know? Yeah. And the, the, the very little talk. Way to make it romantic, too, yeah. Tommy. That's lovely. And uh, the next morning, he's leaving. And I maybe it's a superhero thing, you know? And as he's going, he's going, I am Thor! <laughs> and she said, you're Thor. I can hardly walk. <laughs> no, that hadn't made so, it to Canada, well, but it, welcome, Tommy. It's here now. So. I love how you walk around. You walk around with this Rolodex of jokes to sort of bounce it around. Yeah. So now, you're this talking... This is it, right? You're going home after... I fly home uh, this afternoon. Um, I arrive into... I fly to London, yeah. and then I fly from London uh, to Dublin, and I arrive the same day as the Queen. Oh, well then. Yeah, so I reckon I'll probably meet her at the luggage carousel. <laughs> <laughs> give her just a little, out. Just give her a little dig in the throat. <laughs> Get That's out. for the Irish. You're a big royalist then, huh? Did you watch the royal wedding? Uh, I watched a little bit of it. Uh, to be honest, William kind of scares me. I mean, she, Kate is gorgeous. You know, she's, ob she's in trouble. She's like, there's a, a Katie Holmes rescue mission needs to be done because... <laughs> <laughs> Ro royal families usually only kind of breed uh, with each other, so the gene pool is quite thin. Yeah. So they were contractually obliged to find a commoner. Right. Just to strengthen the genetic pool yeah. a little bit. So there's going to be a queue of these royal weirdos from all over Europe. <laughs> She's going to be. <laughs> Yeah. Mating with her. They're going to bring her to a dungeon somewhere in the middle of England. <laughs> I am Thor! <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, I saw the thing about William is the older he gets, I don't know if you've noticed this, but the, the, the bigger his, f his forehead becomes. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yes, yeah, I have, actually. It's like, he's starting to look more and more like his father. Or like Megamind or something, you know. <laughs> I, I reckon he's, he's, gr he's growing the... minions. He's growing the crown. <laughs> and so when he's... Inside. A, a, ...anointed king, he just opens a flap in his head. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes out this crowd. <laughs> it's like Jiffy Pop popcorn, right? Yeah. Now, no. you said you had an incident with airport security. Did yeah. that happen on your way here? No, it happened uh, about, a, about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, we live beside the sea in Galway on, on the west coast of Ireland. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, my uh, daughter, she was about five or six at the time, she said uh, she wanted to go for a swim. And I was flying off to New York the next day. And I said, yeah, come on, let's go. And... Um, she got changed into her swimming outfit uh, in the house and uh, I put a dress on over the swimming outfit and then I brought a pair of her knickers with me. Uh, <laughs> this can't go <laughs> anywhere good. Uh, in, my, in my pocket in case she wanted to... Change. When she go down to the beach. Of now, course, yeah, you're she, a good father. She yeah. went swimming and she came out of the water and then she just ran around in her swimming togs and it, it dried off so I just put the dress on back on top of the swimming togs. And I completely <laughs> forgot... <laughs> about her knickers in my pocket. Oh my and God. I wore the same jeans going to the airport the next day. Yeah. And it must be my belt or something, but I just kept beeping every time I went through the thing. And the guy says, um, will you empty your pockets? And I said, yeah, sure, of course. And I complete, I just, and I put my hand in here, right? And it wasn't until it was here, I went, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be hard There's to explain. no way this is going to look good. Yeah. <laughs> so I just had to offer it up like, and, a, and these kind of little kind of <laughs> princess knickers unfolded in my hand and the guy just looked at me and I said, they're my daughters, as if that made it better. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sometimes the exclamation digs you a little so, deeper. But he just, he looked at me with disgust and just let me through. So. Uh, <laughs> there's another Irish. Do yeah. things like this make it into your show as you go along? I mean, I, I, I've you know, watched a ton of your stuff and, and so much of it is sort of little bits and, and things that you're yeah. experiencing in your life. And are you always collecting stuff or, or looking at it and trying to figure yeah, it out? Yeah, you, you always kind of... Um, well, Irish people are always talking anyway, so <laughs> right. I'm always um, being funny or trying to be funny and telling funny stories, just the way my brain works. So, But when I walk on stage, I don't know what stories I'm going to tell, and I don't know what incidents from the day will have made it into the show and yeah. stuff like that, so it's all... It's Most all comedians improvised. have a set in mind that they do. That's pretty daring to go out and not have it planned. Yeah, daring or lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the lazy yeah. going. If it works for you, I just kind of oh, it'll happen, you know. Do you find audiences are different? Canadian audiences are different from other audiences. I do. The um, I did three big tours this year. I did uh, England, um, C Canada, and Australia. And in each of the three places that I was in, there was a general election going on at the same time. And I swear to God, it was the same people running for power. <laughs> You know, it was just <laughs> these kind just of Sunday school middle management people. I don't know, uh, Stephen Harper, <laughs> to me, he always looks as if he's just stopped crying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has, and he has that slight kind of lesbian look about him as well, doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't he look slightly like I a lesbian? He has that kind of chastity bono post-op <laughs> type of uh, <laughs> look, to me, anyway. Right. It's OK, it's good. But, I've always identified with him. What does this mean? <laughs> but... <laughs> I found that in the three places that I've been in, uh, Australians can't believe that you've made the effort to go all that way. It's like a 24-hour trip. Yeah. So they're, a long way away. They're just delighted. English people are, are too polite to let you know that they don't enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> and Canadians aren't surprised uh, that you've travelled all this way. Yeah. You know, they're kind of sure. Why wouldn't you? It's the most beautiful country in the world. Yeah, so. Why wouldn't you want to be here? Yeah. I'm just yeah. never going to look at Stephen Harper. <laughs> but there is, he has that kind of, he doesn't look as if he needs to shave or, you know, his hair is always, he has that kind of. Maybe first time I saw him, I thought, he's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. You know. Turns out you're sort of right. You're close. You know, and that's look, God, some of the most amazing women I've ever been out with. <laughs> <laughs> Ended up lesbians. <laughs> so, Empty your pockets right now. This also could uh, go nowhere good. Tommy, thank you, know. you so much. It's a thank real pleasure so to meet you. And uh, I know all our Irish interns were really excited that you were coming by, and uh, I understand why. Very funny and thank uh, you. real pleasure to Thank chat you for with having me. You have to come Thanks, to Vancouver more it. often. I'd love to. Uh, you can go to his website, uh, find out lots of stuff, and uh, have Come on, do it in your Irish laugh. accent. You've been doing it all day and torturing me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't do an Irish accent. That's just me with a lilt. <laughs> we're taking.